All right, guys, let's just kind of give a deep breath in. Let's start with our breathing. We're going to stand nice and tall. Okay, here we go. <laughs> give me a deep breath. Inhale, exhale up. Like I once said before, we can warm up our body with just our breath. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale. Now I'm going to bring some sunshine in this gray morning. Here we go. Inhale. This is actually part of, in yoga, it's called the sun salutation. So as we come up, we inhale, we're actually saying good morning to the sun, and we exhale down. Inhale, come on up. Exhale down. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale down. Here's our last one. Inhale. And exhale down. Let's some, bring some attention to our feet. Let's just take one foot and kind of roll it around, just working, waking up the ankles a little bit. Got over to the other side. Good. Right, now just bring one leg up and out. I'm in a nice little, you can hold on for these. I'm going to bring my chair out in a second because we like to warm up those legs with a couple of swings. Actually, I have my bar right here. So I'm holding on for some stability and a nice easy is nice and relaxed Hello. not forcing it hi yeah let's come across the body now good let's go over to the other side a few swings here <laughs> and across Maybe back and forth a couple more times and across. Good. Let's bicycle. We, I call this bicycling the knees as I'm kind of pushing my hips out and just rocking side to side. All right. We're going to warm up those hips. Good. Now I'm going to hold on and we're going to do those hip swings. You're going to do four from the inside out. So I'll turn this way. It looks like this one, two, three. And four, let's go over to the other side, right? Inside out, one, two, three, and four. Now let's start outside in for one, two, three, and four. Same thing right here, one, two, three, and four. Good, let's give a little hamstring curl here, warming up the backs of the legs for one, two, three, four, eight of these, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's bring the attention back to those hips. Let's do nice big figure eight. So this is, you know, that infinity sign or that family sign. That's what we're trying to replicate here, right? Nice and easy. But if that doesn't feel good, just go to some hip movements that feel good. Right. Good. Now a couple more. We're going to bring our attention to our lumbar spine. Easy, gentle twist. It's not a big twist, right? It's very gentle. I think I've mentioned this before. You know, all of our joints have that synovial fluid. This is actually one of the few that brings that synovial fluid to the lumbar spine. So we like this. Good. Now, big figure eights with our hands, right? Bring our thumbs up. We're going to dive them in and bring them out, keeping those shoulders warm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Now, let's bring those arms up, just working the biceps a little bit. One, two, three, four, actually working the shoulders as well. Five, bringing those arms up overhead, nice and easy. One, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna just open up those shoulders a little bit. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring them back for one, two, three, 
four, and five. Good. Let's bring some movement now. Here we go. You ready? Let's march it out. You're going to march out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now give me a step touch. We use our arms with the step touch, step together. One, together, two, together, three, together, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's just stay on one side. We're gonna tap that leg out like in a little bit of an angle here. We're hitting actually our glute, which you know is a very important muscle to stabilize those hips and spine and knees. So we're just gonna do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. March in the middle for four, three, two, and one. Let's go over to the other side, tap it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. March in the middle for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take two steps left, two steps right. We're going to add the arms in a second or two. Okay, now we're gonna kind of give it up like we're serving a tray of our favorite food in turn. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and turn. Two, two, three, turn. Three, two, three, turn. Four, two, three, turn. And five, two, three, turn. Six, two, three, turn. And seven, two, three, and turn. Meet me in the middle and let's jump some rope. Now, you don't have to jump. We're just going to turn those arms, dig the heels in. Now, if you want a little bit more, right, you can go a little quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring the knees up and turn those hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now kick, light little kick for one and over, two and over, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Maybe a little kick in the back. I'm just gonna turn sideways so you see. One, two, because we're gonna put a little something together in a minute. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's get those arms moving. Let's punch it out. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left arm only, only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, now uppercut, use the hips, use the legs to really get those arms going. So you're using a little bit of abdominal work, getting those legs moving. Give me five more, four more, three more, two more, and last one. Now hit the bag, hit it. Get those arms moving forward. Now move them back, move them forward and back. Now let's go up, down, little hip hinge, just a little hip hinge, but goes back and up like you're sitting in a chair. Two, three, little hip hinge. Let's a little warm up. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Deep breath. Down. Let's go back. Now you're going to feel a little bit more ease with the movements we started with, right? You're going to feel a little bit, it's easier to turn now. And now let's get that spine elongated. 
reaching up as high as we can and just giving a nice little twirl. One, two, three, and four back the other way for four, three, two, and one. Let's go back to our movements. Let's do a little skaters, nice and easy. So I want you to remember a lot of this stuff I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna put it in a little sequence here. I think what we'll do is we did this a few weeks ago. We'll do our add-on, okay? Well, you guys have to help me out when I forget the sequence because I don't have it written down. It's coming right from here. So this is a skater. Let's, let's go with these few, let's keep it simple. So we've got skaters. Everybody knows how to do a skater, right? right. One and over, we'll do 10 of those, okay? We'll do our jump rope. We, have, we know how to do those. Those are nice and easy, right? But effective, you can, obviously get as intense as you want with the jump roping okay we have our hip hinges so we'll do our hip hinges right okay we know our punches yep okay let's see what else can we do we can do our kicks right that's easy i don't want easy i shouldn't say that it's easy to remember okay it's not a fancy movement okay that's all, but you can absolutely get your heart rate up and that intensity. Actually, we're gonna start with a march, okay? So remember, we always go back to the march. It's one of those add-ons. Like I said, if you remember a few weeks ago, so say if we have march, skaters, hip hinges. So it's march for 10, then we go to march for 10, skaters for 10, then we go march for 10, skaters for 10, hip hinges for 10. Okay, so we add on there. So we get, let's see if we can get five, six, maybe eight exercises in, okay? All right, we're gonna get warm, shedding the, the outerwear. Here we go. Okay, let's march for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now I'm going to add on hamstring curls. Okay. That's going to be the next one. So it's 10 marches. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 hamstring curls. One, two, you can use your arms. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. March, I'll give you the add-on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 hamstrings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 skaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Here we go. March one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's next? Hamstrings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, let's go skaters. Two, did you remember that? Three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How about some front kicks? Here we go for 10, nine. We can punch eight, opposite, right? Seven, good for balance. Six, five four, three, two, back to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10 hamstrings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 skaters. I'm going to make you guys remember this. The next couple, in about two more rounds, you're going to do this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Kick punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's do hip hinges, right? Hip hinge. One, hip hinge. Make sure those hips go back. Three, four. You can absolutely hold on and do this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Deep breath. I'm going to give you a water break. And we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to add on with a jump rope, but you guys are going to help me with the sequence. Everybody good? Yep. Give me a thumbs up if you're okay. Yep. But right, let's just start like we're starting from scratch. Okay. I want everybody to part rate. Did you, did you to forget the punching? I did. We did the punch with the kick, right? With the kick. That's the only punching we're doing. Right now. Yep. Okay. Yep. We may add on. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Deep breath. Deep breath in. Exhale. What was the first, first thing? First <laughs> exercise. What did we start with? Yeah, there you go. Let's go. March one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's next? Skating. Hamstrings. No. Close Hamstrings. though. It looks like skating. One. I oh. got to give you that. Two, yeah. three, <clears throat> four, five. Six, seven, eight, now nine. Who said skating? Eight. Way to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Intensity's up to you. I see you want to hop a little bit. Go right ahead. Nine and ten. What's next? Punch, kick, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hip hinge, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now let's just punch it out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Deep breath. All right, last round, and then I'm just going to add on. Okay. okay. <laughs> Are you good? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. First exercise. March. March. Yay. One. Good job. Two. Come on. Push, push it a little bit. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's next? Leg up. There you go. Good job. These are called hamstring curls or butt kicks. One. Oh, I always forget two, those. <laughs> three. <laughs> I like the arms too. Four, if you can. Five, six, seven. Coming to eight. What's next? Eight. Nine. Yay, skate, good job, one. Come on, maybe a little force more, jump here, three, or just a little quicker, four, five, a little lower, six, seven, 
eight, nine. Hip. Punch kick. Oh, kick. One. That's ah. next. You're next. Two. All right. Remember All right. that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now. Hip. Hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Punch. Yes. One. Excellent. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just follow me. Jump that rope. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One side jack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just march. Here we go. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. March. Four three, two, going down to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. March for four, three, two, other side for one, two, three, four, five, six. March for four, three, two, now four. One, two, three, four. March for four, three, Two, other side, go one, two, three, four, march for four, three, two, now only two, one, two, march for four, three, two, only two, one, two, now guess what's next, one and one, one, and over, two, and over, three, and over, four, five, six, seven and eight good job deep breath in reach up nice and high extend exhale down inhale up now i just want you to take notice how the body feels now after you moved all that time it feels good right yes. you've got the blood and oxygen going to your brain your heart your lungs your muscles your joints so now is the optimal time to stretch them so we're going to stretch in between so I have a little flexibility. And then I do want to do some more glute work with you. And I'm going to, I'm going to get to the floor again to make sure you guys know these exercises. Even if it's difficult for you to get up and down on the floor, you can do them on. It's not as great doing it on the bed because it's a soft, but you can, you can get benefits to some of the exercises. Okay. Hopefully you can get up and down um, because they're really good for our core glutes back health okay but i'll deal with that later right now let's go get our chairs and let's do some stretching around the chair and we'll do some glute work with the chair okay so the first one i love you can do this seated or you can do it standing okay i'll give you both options if you're seated you're going to bring your knee up nice and high come across to a figure four and you know what let's let's do this have a seat let's do these these stretches first then i'll get you guys were up on your feet for quite a bit so i'm not gonna fret with you guys being on your tush for a little while okay come on up now don't grab a, in front of your knee grab underneath and get it up nice and high this is actually great for your knee health now we're going to take it this leg gingerly right over the other one. Your ankle should be just above your kneecap, right? Hopefully that's good for you <clears throat> a little bit. Now you can give a little press here. You're gonna feel a nice little hip opener and we're gonna hinge forward. As we hinge forward, you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the hip and the back. Now, some of us can, and some of us can't do this. You might have, some of us have actually a bony, oh my God, I can't say it a bony 
protrusion there you go thank you <laughs> i have invisaligns on and every now and then i have a lisp so um yes and sometimes our hips don't work that way so don't push through it okay press forward right here so if you can do it fine if not put your foot down on the floor and just hinge forward good now be careful with this one because i like to sit towards the end of the chair. And then I move to one side. This is that hip opener. We're gonna hip the, op, open this hip. I can't talk straight this morning. Shoulders back and down, sitting up nice and tall, taking that back leg here. We're opening this hip flexor right here. So you're just gonna stay here. If your hip allows this, fine. If not, shorten it up a little bit, okay? I'm gonna bring mine out because I love this nice stretch right here. I'm gonna, the leg that is back is the arm that comes up and I reach towards the back of my chair. And I come back to center. God, let's march it out in the middle. Just kind of realigns our spine, shoulders back and down, chest lifted. Let's bring our feet to the other side. Let's bring this foot back, opening up that hip. Wow. Yeah, you feel that? This is such yeah. a great hip opener. Sometimes just opening this hip helps that back. We're going to lift up. Come on over, reach. Good. Let's go back to center. Now I'm going to do this. You stay, you can stay forward, right? I just want to show you how my, my body's moving. Okay. Because we're going to do a little flat back and a roll. We've done this, but I just want to make sure you have it right. Shoulders are back and down. Our chest is lifted. We come forward with a flat back. We inhale. On the exhale, we scoop in our abs and roll back, right? Abdominal exercise. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Roll it up. Shoulders back and down. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Roll. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, roll. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, roll. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, roll. Good. Now, let's come forward. Let's work on that upper body a little bit. Okay. What I want you to do, I'm going to stay sideways again. These are called my turtlenecks. What we do is we strengthen the little muscles around our cervical spine, okay? So if I'm seated here, I'm gonna take my neck and just try to like reach out, but then you wanna pull your head back like a turtle, or I call this like if somebody's in your personal space and you want, hey, back off, <laughs> right? So you wanna come forward and back. I'll go this way, forward and back. We're working all these muscles right here for one, two, bring those ears over the shoulders, three, four, you've got that, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, relax those shoulders, just roll them, roll them, roll them. Take your hands behind you, roll those shoulders back and down, grab the big beach ball, squeeze your back muscles together. Good. Now forward, clasp your hands, open up your back. And now we're going to come up all the way, keeping those hands together, elongating the spine, just like we did standing. And we're just going to do that nice little twirl for one, two, three, and four. Back the other way for four, three, two, and one. Hands down, give the little twist side to side. Okay, going back to our shoulders, right? What I want you to do now is just make sure your ears are over your shoulders. Shoulders are back and down. So you've got really good posture, right? We're gonna do our little breathing technique, working our abdominals without any movement, just with our breath. Okay, so we have our shoulders up, back and down. Our chest is lifted. We, I call this proud chest. The belly gets pulled in. The Spine is elongated, but our eyes are on the horizon, okay? You're going to take your fingers and just press them over your rib cage. So the first breath, as you breathe through your nose, I want you to think about filling up your belly and making it soft, making the belly nice and soft. So you inhale, inhale. Now on the exhale, 
squeeze your hands together, you're tightening up those abdominals. Do you feel that? Okay, just breathe regularly. I want you to get that feeling of everything coming together and tightening around the spine, okay? Around that rib cage. You're basically bringing the two halves of your abdominals cinched together here, okay? Two sheets. Okay, here we go. Inhale through your nose, puff out your belly, puff it out all the way into the belly, press it out, Shh, squeeze those abdominals together. Good. Breathe regularly, right? Just nice and easy. You don't want to get lightheaded. One more time, and then we're going to bring our attention to our ankles. Here we go. Inhale, puff it out, puff it out, Shh. let it out, squeeze those ab abdominals. Good. All right, roll the shoulders. Just give it another little softness right here, right? But always we're going to remain in that somewhat perfect posture. I like doing this. I like showing you the difference. We do it almost every week to show you the slouchy posture and what it feels like. It crunches your lungs. It crunches your belly. It crunches your digestive tract, right? So we want to come up to our perfect posture, but we're not going to always be able to stay in this perfect posture. So you come somewhere in neutral, right? But we don't want to slouch. And we can't always stay perfect. So we're right in between. We call that our new neutral posture. Okay. Let's take our hands right here. Let's just roll the shoulders out. Make sure they are happy. Good. Roll them back. Good. Let's do one arm. Let's bring thumb up. Let's bring it across, then bring the thumb back. So if you, if, if you were in the water, so you're pushing the water forward, then you're going to take your thumb down, push the water away. Thumb up. <laughs> shoulder mobility. Great shoulder mobility, girls. Excellent. Keep going. Good. One more because your shoulder will fatigue. Even though we don't have a weight in our hand, it will fatigue. Let's go over to the other side. Thumb up, push the water forward. Thumb down, push it away, forward and away. Three and away, four and away, <clears throat> five and away, six, seven and eight. Okay, so I said we were going to get to the ankles. We're going to work our way down. <laughs> Sometimes I just get a little ahead of myself. So you're going to take your hands together. You're going to feel a squeeze in your chest, right? What I want you to do, fingertips up and just lift up. Lift for one, working your shoulders and your back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm going to turn sideways again. We're going to work our triceps. We're going to put our hands together, right? Shoulders back and down, chest lifted. And we're just going to bend our elbows as we squeeze the backs of our arms, working our triceps without any weights, right? But we have that resistance. Our own body weight is our resistance. You're excellent form. I'm watching. Perfect. Shoulders are away from the ears and you're squeezing the backs of our arms, working those triceps, right? Give me eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, excellent. We'll stretch that. We'll get to the stretch, but right now I want to work the rest of the body. Okay. So let's give a little march, but I want this march to be a mindful march. Okay. We're going to give a little crunch to our belly, right? As we lift one side. So I, I don't know if you can see me. I've got a tiny little crunch, tiny crunch. I feel my belly just giving a little bit of attention there, right? A uh, little awareness to that midsection that it's tightening up as you give that little crunch. So give me four more on that side. Three, two, and one. March it out. Shake everything out. Let's go to the other side. Shoulders back, proud chest. Here we go. Little crunch forward. So we're just bringing that mid, just the shoulders forward just a little bit too, right? That thoracic spine just a little bit forward three, four, and five. Okay, march it out. Excellent. All right, now we are going to bring attention to 
the front of our legs, our quadriceps, which are so important to these babies right here. Okay. <clears throat> Strong quadriceps and hamstrings and hips will stabilize our knees. Okay. So I want you to put your hands on the front of your legs. I want you to feel the contraction in the front of that leg as you extend your leg and flex your foot. Hold that contraction, wake up that muscle and come on down. You have five of these, five really good ones. I want you to feel the contraction for two, come on down, three and down and four. The last one you're gonna hold, give me a deep breath. Don't hold your breath and blow it out as you feel that nice contraction in the front of the leg. Do you guys feel that? Yes. Good. Okay. Really a very important exercise. When you remember, do these, we want those muscles nice and strong to stabilize that knee. Okay. Here we go. Other side, squeeze and release and two and release and three and four. Last one, hold that squeeze and release, march it out. Okay, you know how I feel about ankle and foot health, right? That's where it all begins, okay? If you lose that stability in the ankles and the feet, your balance and everything is just not great, okay? So we really wanna work those ankles and feet. Okay, so now we're gonna bring that leg up, but don't stress, if your leg gets tired, put it down, okay? So that's why I only like to do about five of these at a time. So you're gonna extend the leg again, so you're getting that contraction in the, quadricep, but we're going to now work the ankle and we're going to point flex for one, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's march it. We don't like told you, you don't want cranky hips. Other side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, bring it in, march it out. And now we're going to circle, but make sure when you circle, you're not moving your leg, right? We want to isolate the ankle and the foot. So we're just circling the foot. If you notice my ankle is not move, my ankle's not moving. It's the foot, but I'm working those muscles all around my ankle. Practice these. Remember this will help aid you in balance. This is your foundation right here. And then march it out. Let's go to the other side. Circle, remember just the foot. One, two, three, four, and five. Back the other way for one, two, three, four, and five. March it out. Now, this one's a tough one. We're going to wag the foot, right? <laughs> like a, like a, a parade wave with the foot side to side. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Other side, one, two, three, four, and five, and I think I've mentioned this before. If you think about it, you're sitting there having your morning coffee, you're reading, do a little alphabet, air alphabet with your foot, okay? Remember that strength is from your foundation or these feet and these ankles. So anything you can do to strengthen those, the ankle, the muscles around the ankle, again, you need stabilization, right? We use our quads, hamstrings, hips to stabilize the knees. Right? We have to work the front of our leg, the back of our leg, sides here of the ankle in order to stabilize the ankle. Everything is connected. If one thing breaks down, the other thing breaks down. So we have to keep them all in great shape. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit more stretching from the head to our toes. And then I'm going to get on the mat. You don't have to, obviously, I don't want you on the floor, especially if there's nobody with you. Um, but I do want to give you these exercises and make sure hopefully you're using some of them. Okay. All right. So let's stretch from our neck down. We're going to look all the way up, stretch the front of our neck. Now don't drop your head forward. Come to neutral first with ears over shoulders, slowly drop your chin, but I want you to just be aware of the nice stretch in the back of your neck and how great that feels. Don't stress your shoulders, keep them down away from your ears. Come back to center. Give me a big inhale. Let's drop it back again. I don't want you to get dizzy. So we do this slowly. We come back to neutral and then bring it down. 
good. Let's take one hand up, bring the other one just lightly, gently grab your wrist, give it a slight little tug over. You're going to feel the stretch all the way down the side of your body, that big muscle in your back. And then we're going to go over to the other side, give a nice little pull. Good. We're going to clasp our hands round our back. We're going to come back, open up that chest, squeezing the big beach ball behind us. Good. We're going to take that one leg up. We're going to bring it across if you can. Again, don't force this one. If this does not feel right, I don't want you doing it. Other side, come on up and across. Okay, I've got about three minutes. I'm going to give you my quick little mat work. You're just going to watch. You're going to repeat this. You have the video, okay? The safe way to get on the floor. You always have a chair nearby or a piece of furniture that's not moving, right? So the way you get to the floor is through the hips. We don't bend forward, right? We, we hip hinge back like we're sitting on a chair behind us. The chair is in front of us. We hold on here. I take my hips as, as far down as I can get. So there's no threat of me falling and getting hurt because the floor is right here, right? So what I do is I take that one knee on my mat. This one is going to come right here. And I, kind, I just slide into a seated position, okay? So how do we reverse that? Foot comes here, hand goes here. I'm in our little low lunge, right? low lunge, guess what? This foot can come here, sitting back in that, that squat again with my chair right here and rolling up slowly one vertebrae at a time, okay? Now I'm gonna get down, do quick few quick exercises I'd love you to do on your own. You're gonna, I'm gonna sit down all the way down. I'm gonna bring that knee back. I'm gonna go into that quadruped right here, right? I'm in my four point stance. I relax my shoulders. I do my cat cow. Inhale, drop. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, drop. Exhale, scoop. Do that three or four times. And then I take my opposite leg. I flex my foot. That means my heel is pressed back. And the opposite hand is right by my ear, stabilizing my spine. There's no movement in that spine, but you're stabilizing all the muscles around it. Okay? So these are your two for this week. I gave you a couple, I believe, last week. Okay. And you're good to go. Have a great rest of the week and weekend. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Okay.